O.J. Simpson, the ex-NFL star turned actor who was acquitted for murder, has died from cancer at the age of 76. He was best known for the sensational trial of the century in 1994, involving the fatal stabbings of his wife and her friend. O.J. Simpson soared to fame as number 32 for the Buffalo Bills. I'm sorry for all of it and plummeted to infamy as inmate number 1027820 in the Nevada Department of Corrections. In between, Simpson led a life filled with more surreal drama than all of his various film and TV projects combined. OJ, are you a Come on, come on. Mass media experts say Simpson's sensational televised low-speed chase, I have OJ in the car. arrest and murder trial, doesn't fit. You must acquit. Stand as the first reality show and perhaps the greatest three ring television phenomenon ever. At one point, the world heard OJ Simpson's ex wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, say, I don't want to stay on the line. You're going to beat the shit. Wait a minute. Then later, Simpson was charged with the horrific murders by knife of Nicole and her friend Ron Goldman. Ron and Nicole were butchered. The trial made lawyers and even witnesses household names. Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder. When the jury freed Simpson, celebration erupted in parts of Los Angeles. But Simpson would never recapture his idol status. Simpson first sprinted into the national spotlight as the Heisman Trophy winning running back at the University of Southern California. Then 11 spectacular years with the NFL vaulted him to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Simpson cashed in on the popularity. Becoming a pitchman for Hertz and an actor, becoming well known for the Naked Gun movies. O.J. Simpson, as you've never seen him before. Simpson played a lawman on screen and ran into trouble with the courts off screen. He lost the multi-million dollar wrongful death suit brought by the families of his ex-wife and Ron Goldman, then moved to Florida. In 2000, Simpson was accused of assault in a road rage incident in Miami. He was found not guilty. In 2005, he was found guilty and fined for stealing satellite television. Then in 2007 in Las Vegas, police arrested him on several felony charges, including kidnapping and armed robbery. 
In that case, Simpson and armed accomplices raided a hotel room in what he called an attempt to just get back some of his stolen belongings. And I didn't know I was doing anything illegal. I thought I was confronting friends and retrieving my property. The Nevada jury never bought his story and instead sent him to prison. He was released on parole nine years later in the dead of night with no fanfare and no bright future. Just the distinction of arguably the greatest rise and fall in pop culture history.